Hi members, this is the channel Smart Resource related to any educational information. Hi, today we will discuss ESR, a hematology test named for erythrocyte sedimentation rate. I will discuss what is ESR, what is the major purpose, the principle, methodology, equipment requirement, the blood specimen collection specification and the methodology, the reference values, quality control or precautions, whatever you say, and the causes for increased and decreased ESR value, the factors of where, on which the ESR depends on. What is ESR? ESR is the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, full name. It is the rate of settling of RBCs in anticoagulated blood. The rate at which the RBC settles down in the whole um, pipette and the above column will be will remain the plasma portion the rem, uh, downward is the rbc settlement and the upward will remain the plasma portion it depends on pro settling factors and the anti settling factors pro settling factors related to the plasma fibrinogen and the anti settling factors are the zeta potential which are uh, present on the surface of the rbcs both are um, interrelated and uh, the uh, rbc settlement depends on both of these pro-settling and anti-settling factors. The major purpose of testing. What is the major purpose? It indicates the possible presence of any disease, any infection, inflammation related. The, it is the prognostic tool, whether the infection is present or not, whether the inflammation is present or not. This is uh, used as a prognostic tool in all the hematology testing. The doctors recommend it whether to check out uh, the uh, presence of any kind of infection in the patient and it's uh, it is also used to follow up the course of the disease what is the principle the citrated blood is left undisturbed in a vertically positioned tube it is a pipette this is the uh, pipette i draw on the left side and the blood is left undisturbed for the whole one hour and we don't have to uh, uh, move stand uh, in any condition rbc's aggregate in downwards and stock together in rolex formation type and sedimentation occurs and plasma will remain on the upward position and esr is the rate at which the rbc's sedimentation occurs in one hour and is indicated by measuring the length of the plasma column above the rbc's uh, whatever plasma we have we will mark the uh, point where the plasma and RBCs meet together the line this is the line the so upward portion is the ESR the plasma portion and the downward reddish portion is the clumps of RBCs expressed as a fall of RBCs in mm unit mm millimeter is the unit of ESR millimeter per R ESR stands for erythrocyte sedimentation rate erythrocyte is the RBC's name, sedimentation is the settlement of RBC's and rate is the amount of RBC's settled down within one hour. So before test we will get the red column and after one hour we will separate down the yellow will be the plasma and the red colored will be the RBC portion, RBC settlement or whatever you say sedimentation. Equipment requirement, whatever we need is the, uh, we have two methods, Westergren method, I will discuss the Westergren method today and uh, we also have the uh, second method with drops method, but the most commonly used method is the Westergren method. Whatever uh, we need is the re equipment requirement and we need the Westergren pipettes, these are of glass or disposable plastic. Glass, uh, we have to wash it and sterilize it and uh, the measurements in graduation is up to this in 2.5 mm diameter and uh, the second one we need is the stand the Westergren ESR stand is the name the reagents used are trisodium citrate it is used as one part reagent in four parts of blood a rubber teeth or a mechanical device to fill up the column no mouth pumping for the uh, no mouth suction is allowed for this uh, procedure as it is not safe a timer is uh, required uh, for actual accurate measurement for one hour uh, here i showed uh, western uh, western tube tube and the stand the rack containing the upper uh, points for the adjustment of the stand and this yellow part is the plasma and the red portion is the blood rbc's and the lower portion is the rubber tabs 
for the adjustment and the leveling of the and these are the equipments the timer the pipette the graduation uh, graduation on the pipette you can see and understand now the blood specimen specifications so what do we have in these specifications we can use only the venous blood collect it directly and then we will add it in the sodium citrate trisodium citrate and test must be done within two hours ADT anticoagulated blood can also be used for, uh, by adding sodium citrate trisodium citrate later and we can use it refrigerate it and uh, the test can be performed within six hours the next we will study the methodology what is the methodology we have to add the reagent trisodium citrate 0.4 ml and 1.6 ml of the venous or edta blood mixing well and then we have to do the suction procedure suction with the bub uh, bubble rubber tube uh, rubber teeth you have and uh, fill it up to the zero mark it you will get it up to the zero mark according to the ratio and avoiding any air bubbles air bubbles will also because this defects in the volume of the ratio of the uh, volume of the whole pipette, Vestigrin pipette. Level the stand in actual vertical position. Uh, leveling is uh, very, very important because uh, tilting may also cause defects in the results. The timer, set the timer for one hour and uh, then read after one hour. Okay, read the level of plasma above the RBCs, where the RBCs and plasma meet after one hour, exact one hour. First, reagent then blood add blood then suction then leveling of the st stand and then set the timer and then read the results the reference values for males females newborns and elders are up to males up to 10 mm millimeter per hour females up to 15 newborns uh, usually have the low esr values and elders up to 20 mm per hour the quality control and precautions V range ratio of blood to anticoagulant. We know uh, the ratio must be perfect. One part anticoagulant and the four parts of blood. Blood not mixed well after uh, adding the uh, reagent. And clots in the blood, hemolyzed blood may also cause the defects in the results. Air bubbles cause the defects in the uh, whole volume of the pipette, volume of the blood in the pipette, and delays in reading after taking more uh, than one hour. It will cause more ESR value. Hot temperature, hot room temperature like sunlight, direct sunlight uh, exposure and refrigerator blood, refrigerated blood using will also cause increase in sedimentation rate. You may get more uh, ESR and uh, the tubes must be clean and dry, properly sterilized, properly washed. The stand must remain vertically leveled and vibration free. No centrifuge will be uh, beside this stand. ESR majorly depends on fibrinogen, plasma fibrinogen, globulins, RBC size and shape, Rolex formation as the shape also matters in the ESR. Uh, if a patient, uh, you have a patient and uh, you are doing the test for the patient, um, the RBC shape is not okay like crescent shaped, the R ESR will be raised. Increased ESR values, we have any infection, inflammation, degeneration, malignancies all have uh, fibrinogen, C-reactive protein and immunoglobulins raised. So the increased rate of RBC sedimentation. So increased ESR value. Anemias, we have Rolex formations in inflammatory conditions. We have many diseases. Some include SLE, arthritis, hepatitis, TB and uh, other diseases include lymphomas, Hodgkin's disease and tumors, renal failure, in the heart failure, any drug intake or elevated WBC count, uh, RBCs defected like macrocytic, all cases we will have the increased ESR values. The next one will be the decreased ESR values. It is reduced in sickle cell disease due to the abnormally shaped uh, RBCs and polycythemia, dengue fever, dehydrated patients, conditions in which fibrinogen is consumed like DSC disseminated intravascular coagulation we have consumed all fibrinogen consumed so the ESI value will be decreased it will sediment uh, sedimentation RBC sedimentation will occur very slowly and elevated albumin concentration these are some of the factors that will cause increase or decrease ESR values okay thank you